well, that's, that's what you get there, buddy. Hey guys, it's Jasmine and this is Puppy. And today we are going to introduce you to someone very, very special. If you happen to catch Monday's little bonus video, then you may have seen that I cloned Puppy. By the way, we just obviously happen to be filming this during his grooming window of the day, so he'll probably be doing that the entire video. Good thing this video isn't really about him, but it is yeah, yeah. about this guy. Everybody say hello to Alfred. Say hello. Look at the love. Look at the love that's being shared between us all. Why does your mom insist on wearing black all the time with two white cats? I don't know. And by the way, if you're new here and into cat stuff, especially things having to do with raw cat food and kitty nutrition, as well as fun-filled things for humans like fitness and nutrition and recipes and stress management tips and whatever else I feel like posting, then feel free to join us in the Cat Lady Fitness family by clicking that subscribe button below because we do put out a new video every cat or day and usually something extra sprinkled in throughout the week. Okay, so back to Alfred. I had been keeping my eyes open and checking kind of the local humane society because they do have pictures of their animals up for adoption on their website. So I'd been looking, it was I think a couple of days after Christmas, and I happened to come across a picture that looked like it could be Puppy's twin. This picture was so cute and I knew that I had to go see what this cat was about because this could possibly be Puppy's brother. Basically, when I went to Humane Society uh, by myself to see Alfred, they couldn't locate him, they couldn't find him, he wasn't there. And very long story short, uh, we did end up locating Alfred the next day and he happened to have been taken to one of the, I think it was Pet Supermarket or Petco where sometimes a rescue group will help the Humane Society bring their animals to the adoption centers of big box stores like that. So Alfred happened to be at the one that was maybe a half mile from my house. So I went and I checked him out in his little cage and he looked exactly like puppy at that point a little bit smaller he is a little bit smaller he's a couple pounds less than puppy but i went to the store saw alfred and knew that i had to bring him home i don't know if somebody surrendered him it breaks my heart to think about stuff like that and the reasons that could potentially be but he had been at the humane society for a couple of months and actually had some pretty bad health issues. One of his eyes had a laceration on it and the vet there told me that they actually thought they might have to take it out at some point, but it's totally fine now. He also had some other things listed on his file like incontinence and something else which don't really seem relevant because I've had absolutely no problems with him. Luna, come here. Yes, yeah, say hello. To the people. So Alfred and Puppy are very different <laughs> cats. Alfred wants to be on a warm body, on a human, on me all of the time and he loves attention and he loves being held. Puppy loves being pet and cuddled, but he doesn't necessarily like to sit on laps. He'd rather kind of snuggle up next to me. Whereas this guy seriously has me contemplating getting one of those kitty hoodies with the big kangaroo pouch because he would live for that kind of thing. Yes, we're talking about you. We're introducing you to the family. All right, I shouldn't have I am not wearing lip gloss for any of these videos ever again. Oh, by the way, of course, he had to get a more distinguished name to go along with his new bougie life. You guys know Puppy's full name, hopefully by now, which is Sir Puppy Town Dog City Show. And Alfred's full name is actually Alfredo Dogicini de Mostrare, which again, don't ask, but he typically goes by Alf. So yeah, I guess you can say that Alf has pretty much been Puppy's stunt cat in 
a handful of videos that I have let out for you guys so far this year. And the reason I waited to introduce him to you guys is I also wanted to get him properly accustomed and comfortable, which happened very, very quickly because him and Puppy went from this to this. to this and then back to this and all of that was successful in less than a month and you guys can probably guess I took notes and everything on the entire process because during this and one of the reasons that I waited to introduce him to you guys is because I wanted him to be fully accustomed here which he has been fully at home it seems like ever since the first month he's been here him and puppy get along great and especially with them being two adult male cats that have never lived with any other cat before. I know Puppy hasn't. I'm not sure about him, but I kind of doubt it. I knew that that kind of resource and information would hopefully be helpful for any of you who are thinking of getting your cat a feline fur baby friend. So that video is definitely coming up. And since I know a lot of you guys are going to ask for it, I do plan on setting up the camera when I leave the house again soon to see if puppy still misses me and still cries for me. I know that he still is attached to me. I really do think it's like a lot of you guys said and he is just a cat that is really attached to his owner. But regarding all this hair flying around, let me share with you some of the similarities and differences between Alf and puppy because they look super similar but they are incredibly different. First of all, Alfred has this undercoat that makes him shed like fluffy, floofy fur hairs all over the place, even if I brush him at least a few times a week, which is completely different than Puppy. Puppy might shed a little bit, but he doesn't have that fluffy undercoat of hair. And like I've mentioned before, Puppy loves to be brushed. He loves to be brushed. He loves to be pampered. Alfred, on the other hand, is not a big fan yet, but I'm hoping that he just becomes more familiar with it and grows into it in order to be brushed because he does have to be brushed so often. Puppy is very quiet and stoic. He has expressions. He just kind of walks around the house and minds his business and he might meow when he's really excited to get his dinner. Alfred, on the other hand, is a very, very vocal cat. He walks around the house talking to himself. He'll walk around talking to me. He'll chirp whenever he jumps on or off anything. You guys all know Puppy's deep motor purr by now. And then there's Alfred. You can't hear it. I, I call it a seashell purr because you literally have to put your ear up to his body to actually semi hear slash feel it, but there's like nothing there. Puppy's reaction to the vacuum. Alf's reaction to the vacuum. Puppy's reaction to catnip. Alf's reaction to catnip. He really doesn't care. I really think he's immune to catnip. How puppy sleeps how Alf sleeps. That one's pretty similar and freaking cute, especially when you see them kind of near each other and doing the same exact thing. Puppies prowling kind of leopard walk. Alfred's walk. 
he kind of reminds me of a five-year-old that's about to trip over his shoes. If I open a door to walk into a room, puppy might move his eyes to see what's going on. But anytime anyone walks into a room or opens a door, Alfred has to stand to attention like he's in the military. He's a very hyper-vigilant cat. He's definitely calmed down even just in the last couple of months since he's been here. I like to think it is because he's just comfortable and happy and he feels secure. And of course, you guys, he is on a raw food diet. That's another thing is I've had to make it twice as often now because I always made puppy a double batch anyway. But now that double batch is just a single batch basically for both of them. So I've been making their food at a double batch about every couple of weeks. And Alfred loves it. He's taking to it great. As my clients know, my, my online clients, my Skype clients know, uh, they have made a couple of cameos so far in some training sessions, which trust me, I'll, I'll probably have a video working out with these two. This is Alf, by the way, obviously. What is, since when do you do that? Are you showing off? Similarity, neither of them like when I speak into a camera. He doesn't like when my hand is just up like this. Puppy could care less. But I try to remind myself, he is only five, as far as we know. Who knows, he could be four? I mean, they kind of guess once you bring him in if the person who drops him off doesn't know their birthday. But yeah, you guys, that is Alfred. Thank you so much for everybody who has suggested getting Puppy a friend. I really do think it was a great decision. He's not alone. Alfred has his forever home, which made me feel so, so good. Needless to say, if you are looking for a friend or feline sibling for your kitty, definitely go to somewhere like Humane Society. Definitely adopt or rescue because that really is the best way to go. All right, you guys, I am so excited to share this continued kitty journey with you all. This is uh, obviously a, a portion of my life, but it's a very important one that I hope brings you helpful content with all of the things that I share from kitty nutrition, especially raw cat food, and the importance of taking care of your feline fur babies as best as you can, while also taking care of yourself and prioritizing your own health and fitness and nutrition and wellness and all those fun things. Your support and kindness and trust is sincerely appreciated by me and by the boys and the Cat Lady Fitness family. Please remember to click the thumbs up if you liked this video and if you are also looking forward to everything coming up soon. And of course, we would love if you joined us in the Cat Lady Fitness family by clicking that subscribe button because we do put out new videos every week. You ready for this to be over? Look at the squirrel go! As always, thank you guys so much for watching and we, and Puppy, will see you next week. Bye!